what do MotoGP riders actually eat? We didn't take Uncle Ben seriously when he said, with great power comes great responsibility, did we? We can bend this quote for our MotoGP riders. With great stardom comes great prize. They cannot munch on french fries or have a bucket of chicken whenever they want. They have to maintain their physique and wait for a sport like MotoGP. So what do they eat? If you want to know about the diet plan of MotoGP riders, gladly, I got you covered. This video will answer all your queries, so make sure you watch it till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Some eat tasty avocado toast at breakfast, while others prefer bread with delicious tuna. Some follow only plant-based and vegetarian diets strictly, while others cannot go without fish and chicken. Some like to have carbs at lunch, while others choose to have proteins. So now the question is, who's who? Let's find out what our MotoGP rider actually eats. In a recent conversation, Paul Espargaro talked about his diet and the health regime he follows. The world's finally discovering the health benefits of plant-based food, and it looks like it's reached Paul as well. For the last three years, Paul's been preferring a vegetable-based diet mainly that focuses on water storage. But before turning vegetarian, he was not used to consuming very much meat except fish and chicken. But he admits it's not been an easy transformation. The hardest part for him was sticking to plant-based food because he travels around the globe all the time, and sometimes it gets tricky to get your hands on vegetarian food. But what's worth it? Worth it. So he's aiming to try his best. And from what we know, he's going strong. Coming back to his diet, Paul's breakfast mostly contains avocado or toast. For lunch, he often opts for legumes or perhaps quinoa. According to him, quinoa is his preferred food before hopping on his bike because this diet contains a lot of energy. Paul's dinner includes carbs such as pasta, chickpeas, peas, and stuff. With peas, he gets his portion of protein as well. He believes each body's different and it's important to understand your body for everyone, but it is crucial for athletics. Paul also has a strict diet regime of eating at least two hours before hopping on a bike. This means if the race is at 2 p.m., he'll be done with his lunch by noon. According to him, this becomes weird when he has practice on Saturday at 1.30 p.m., and he has to eat his lunch before 11.30 a.m. Paul can eat bread and gluten too, but he has them without sauces. Seems boring, no? But that's the price athletics have to pay to remain healthy and in shape. However, in the winter, Paul goes easy with his diet and eats whatever he wants rather than what he should, but clean. He has a Mediterranean diet which is pretty healthy and clean, so even when he's not following his regular disciplined diet, he eats healthily. Paul anyway doesn't like fast food unlike most people, so it becomes easy for him to avoid those burgers and fries. But desserts is weakness. He finds chocolate coulant and Nutella hard to resist. He has them after a strong effort training session during winter and when he feels his body's deprived of sugar. According to him, he loves to have oven-cooked bananas with sugar on top in winter. But then, a month before a season begins, he starts to get super strict with his food like no sauces, pure food, ecological eggs, lots of protein, different kinds of cereals, grains, etc. to get back to his supposed racing weight. If you're enjoying what Paul Espargaro eats the whole day in his diet regime, give this video a tasty thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Now, let's talk about Paul's brother, Aleš. Aleš Espargaro. Unlike Paul, his elder brother Aleš follows a completely different diet and eating habits. As we discuss, each body is its own. However, just like him, Aleš's meals are also very structured and full of nutritional value. He says, and I quote, I think that nutrition is really important at our level. It's our fuel, and I see it in that if I get this aspect wrong, I don't feel 100%. Eating healthy is important for everyone, but for athletes, it becomes 100 times more crucial because according to Aleš, it's your fuel and your good or bad performance on a track depends on what you eat. He feels when he does not eat well and properly, he doesn't function and gives his best on track. For him, a balanced and solid diet is vital. He loves cycling and needs to be very lightweight, like every MotoGP rider. He's very focused on his diet, but his body gains weight quicker. So to maintain this, he eats a lot of vegetables. His breakfast includes fresh fruits, mostly bananas. For lunch, Aleš loads up with carbs and goes for protein at dinner. His lunch has plain rice most of the time, while chicken and vegetables with just a drop of oil for dinner. It's interesting to mention here that for his love of sushi, Aleš has opened his sushi restaurant. And the word in town is that sushi's quite delicious there. Valentino Rossi. Now let's talk about the MotoGP legend and one of the most known riders in the world, Valentino Rossi. Wonder what Rossi eats to maintain his form throughout the season and win all those championships? Don't worry, I got you sorted. 
They say the more the reward, the more the price, and it totally fits Rossi. He's not only particular with what he eats during the day, but also about the proportion and grams of his meals. Impressive, doesn't it? Rossi's breakfast contains two eggs with 30 grams of fried bacon. 50 grams of sliced bread along with a cup of coffee. For lunch, he likes to eat 100 grams of macaroni with just a tablespoon of olive oil, 200 grams of grilled vegetables with a tablespoon of olive oil, 80 grams of fish tuna, and the same amount of peas. He also eats one fruit for lunch as well. His dinner consists of 300 grams of a steak, which is mostly a T-bone steak or a filet of beef cooked with olive oil. He also likes to have 40 grams of french fries and fruit at dinner time. In your opinion, does eating by calculating portions really help? Tell me what you think about Rossi's diet plan. Furthermore, for Valentino, staying hydrated is super important. He keeps himself hydrated throughout the day by drinking lots of water. Also, if he gets hungry at mid-after or has some extra craving, he does not hold back on snacks. The difference is his snacking's healthy. At mid-afternoon for snacking, he likes to have flatbread with 30 grams of ham. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know your thoughts on these MotoGP stars' diets. Whose diet, in your opinion, can be more robust to follow? And whose diet do you find the hardest to pursue? Do you think vegan diets can be sufficient for athletes? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below.